Hi, this is Mike Ryan with Right With God Ministries, and the title of today's message is Five Simple Reasons You Can Never Ever Lose Your Salvation, No Matter What You've Done Wrong. Long title, but five simple reasons. And if you like more in-depth scriptures and teaching on this, please be sure to go to rightwithgod.life. And you can find our Bible studies posted that go into significant detail about topics of the gospel and scriptures that show God's unfailing love for you. All right, let's jump in. Five simple reasons you can never, ever lose your salvation, no matter what you've done wrong. Reason number one, God won't even mention your deeds. God won't even mention your deeds. Here's God speaking in Ezekiel 18, looking towards the cross and the finished work of the cross. Look what he says, all his transgressions that he has committed. I'm going to repeat that again. All his transgressions. This is looking at a person's entire life. All his transgressions that he has committed, they shall not be mentioned unto him in his righteousness that he has done he shall live. And we know that who is our righteousness? Your righteousness is Jesus Christ. So in the righteousness of Jesus Christ, which belongs to you listening, who have trusted Jesus, if you have trusted Jesus, God won't even mention your deeds. He won't even mention them. All your transgressions, they will not come back. Here's reason number two. Why won't God remember? Why won't God mention any of your deeds? Well, reason number two, you can never lose your salvation no matter what you've done answers that question. It's because he won't even remember your deeds. Hebrews chapter eight, verse 12 says, for I will be merciful to their unrighteousness and their sins and their lawless deeds. I will remember no more. I'm going to pause right here and just explain to those listening. Why? Why do we have to keep talking about God like forgiving us and loving us and that we'll never lose our salvation no matter what is done? Because people enter into the Christian faith thinking that there's a contract with God of salvation, which is only dependent upon you doing your part of living holy and living sinless and blameless. And that is flat out wrong. We'll talk more about this in our coming videos, and you can see it in our Bible studies, but you need to understand that salvation is not dependent upon you, and you cannot lose it because of yourself. Okay, reason number three that you can't lose your salvation no matter what you've done is that you are sealed with the Holy Spirit. Ephesians chapter 1, verse 13 and 14 says, in him you also trusted after you heard the word of truth, the gospel of your salvation, and whom also, having believed, you were sealed with the Holy Spirit of promise, who is the guarantee of your inheritance unto the redemption of the purchased possession to the praise of his glory. Key words, salvation, excuse me, sealed and guarantee. You've been sealed by the Holy Spirit and he's your guarantee. He's a, it makes it a sure thing. And by the way, it says in him also after you heard the word of truth, isn't after you behaved, isn't after you had a perfect record, isn't after you did all those good works and went to church and read your Bible and never used a, a bad word again. No, no, no. You received the Holy Spirit. You were sealed with the Holy Spirit after you trusted upon hearing the word of God, and it is a guarantee, and you cannot reverse being sealed with a guarantee. Reason number four, that you will never lose your salvation no matter what you've done, is because your life is hidden in Christ. Colossians chapter three, verse three says, for you died and your life is hidden with Christ in God. For you died and your life is hidden with Christ in God. You are not your own. Your life has been hidden. You died when Christ died. People say, well, Christ won't leave you. God won't leave you, but you can leave him. 
No, <laughs> your life isn't even yours anymore. It was bought with a price. Jesus took your life and it's in his hand. So if someone can say that they can leave God, well, then they've never really been with God because when you're with God, you never ever can be, you never can leave him because your life is hidden in him. Colossians chapter three, verse three. All right. Reason number five for why you can never lose your salvation, no matter what you've done, is because God cannot lie. Yeah, God cannot lie. John chapter six, verse 39, Jesus says, this is the will of my father who sent me, that of all he has given me, I should lose nothing, but should raise him up at the last day. Jesus is making your salvation and your relationship with him based on his ability to keep you, not on your ability to keep him. I'm going to repeat that. Jesus is making your salvation based on his ability to keep you, not your ability to keep him. So again, for all those people who say, well, you can leave or I can leave. If you can leave, then you're not in Christ because he promises that he will never lose you. And even if you get lost and you wander away, he'll leave the 99 and come looking for you. He says it again in John chapter 10. This is another bonus verse because I'm giving a verse for each reason. John chapter 10, verse 27. And he says, my sheep hear my voice. I know them and they follow me. Verse 28. And I give them eternal life and they will never perish. Neither anyone, listen, will snatch them out of my hand. And my father who's given me, verse 29, he's given them to me is greater than all. And no one is able to snatch them out of my father's hand. No one means no one. He repeats it again emphatically so that you understand that you're perfectly secure in him. Isn't that a wonderful salvation? It makes some people angry. It makes some people upset. But isn't it so wonderful how good God is that he secured you just in love perfectly because of grace? God bless you. Be encouraged. Again, write with God.life. Come join us on our Facebook, our Facebook group as well. Take care.